So I wanted to wait to review all these trailers that came out in Comic Con yesterday, technically, um, till today, just so, oh, uh, well, I could see every trailer that came out, cause a lot came out in the afternoonish when I was planning on doing the video at first. So yeah, so you're getting these Comic Con trailer reviews now, and I think the one we're gonna yeah the one we're gonna start off with is Justice League. So the Justice League trailer. Just to sum it up, it's freaking awesome. I love the Justice League trailer. Um, I love the whole setup. It looks fun. Something DC movies are sorely lacking right now. So, yeah, they get, it gives you that. And then they got the setup to characters like The Flash, uh, Cyborg. So, that's all great. I actually love this trailer. I love um, Ben Affleck trying to find uh, Aquaman in the beginning. Uh, him standing there, yeah, with, with Aquaman. It had some decent humor in it. It worked. I love Ezra Miller as the Flash from this trailer, at least from what I see of him. He's really good. I like Ezra Miller in general, so that that, that adds to it. And I like the Flash, so yeah, so that's cool. Uh, but yeah, the Justice League trailer, I loved it. Um, not gonna give it a score or anything because it's the trailer. But we'll move on to the next trailer because we got I think six to talk about right now. So next one, oh, including this one. But yeah, next one is. Wonder Woman. The Wonder Woman trailer is incredible. This movie just looks great. I'm so pumped for Wonder Woman. Um, so basically, yeah, Wonder Woman takes place, I think, in World War... I want to see two, but I'm not sure. Um, and yeah, you have Wonder Woman and Chris Pine, who uh, is a man. And she's not like used to having uh, men from where she's from. And yeah, you, you, know the, if you, you probably know the Wonder Woman lore at this point at least so yeah but uh, Chris Pine looks great in this movie um Gal Gadot or Gal Gadot I'm gonna say Gal Gadot uh is great as Wonder Woman um we know that from Batman v Superman already uh she's probably the best part of that movie besides Batman so I'm so pumped to see her own movie her solo movie there's a lot of her uh there's a lot of her getting some crap done in this trailer I'll say that much you, you see the clips going or above this anyway as I'm talking, so, yeah, I'm going to show a lot of clips of her fighting, as you can tell, but they show a lot of footage of her fighting, so hopefully they don't show, t they didn't show too much of it, but I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to be optimistic about this one, but I'm actually really pumped for this, Chris Pine, as I said, looks hilarious, um, they look like they're going to have good chemistry, there's good humor in, in it, and it also looks fun, as I said, DC Comics, they've been sort of liking that, so I'm excited to see Wonder Woman. So, sorry, keep bumping the thing. But next one is Kong Skull Island, which is a movie I'm actually really looking forward to as well. And this trailer is also great. It isn't quite as good as, like, Wonder Woman and Justice League and most of the trailers I'm going to talk about right now. But I think it does look pretty good, actually. I like how they teased King Kong at the end. That thing looks enormous. Like, I don't know, if, for some reason I didn't feel the scale of King Kong and Peter Jackson's movie. I don't know, I just, I, he, I knew he was big, but I didn't see him as a huge, like, larger than life beast or anything. Like, I didn't say Godzilla, which they're gonna fight soon, so that's cool. But, the scale of freaking King Kong at the end, where he's rising up, I'm showing the clip right now, but yeah, where he's rising up at the end in front of the person, and I think it was a person that just watch the trailer again to refresh, but whatever. And it just looks enormous. This thing looks so big. The scale is great. And that's what I'm really excited to see in this movie. We also got Brie Larson, who is a great actress. We got Tom Hiddleston, I believe, is in this. Oh, uh, yeah, it's Tom Hiddleston. And Toby Kebbell, okay. But, yeah, uh, I know they can do scale very well, so I'm excited to see that as well. Um, Warner Brothers in general can. And they can do action, which... Yeah, so Kong Skull Island is a great trailer. I'm actually really pumped for this movie. It looks really good. So, yeah, the next trailer is for the Lego Batman movie, which is one of my most anticipated movies of next year. Uh, this movie looks so funny. These are all Comic-Con trailers, so... These are the trailers, obviously, released during Comic-Con. So, yeah, so the Comic-Con trailer shows how um, Batman basically is raising Robin now essentially is the plot of the movie, but it looks so funny, like, 
it, I'm, they're uh, making fun of all the cliches of Batman, and it's fantastic. I love it. Will Arnett as Batman is awesome. I love Lego Batman and um, the Lego movie. So I'm so pumped for like the Lego Batman movie. Uh, it looks fantastic. So, next trailer is for the secret movie. The secret Blair Witch sequel. Blair Witch. So, the reason I'm talking about this is because it was a cover-up. So, Adam Weingard, I believe is how you pronounce his name, directs this movie. And, originally, this was titled The Woods. And I was actually really looking forward to it. They had a teaser out for it. It looked really cool. And then, a couple of days ago, they announced that it's actually called Blair Witch. It's actually a Blair Witch sequel. There have been rumors that it's in the same world. But, they had never confirmed that it was a, a sequel or anything. So, them confirming that it's a Blair Witch sequel... I love that reveal. Sorry, I keep looking over there. It's just creepy. But, uh, I love that reveal. It was great. I'm so pumped for this movie. It looks really freaky. I hated the Blair Witch Project. We're just going to get that out there. I'm one of those... I'm in the minority here. I'm one of those few people who absolutely loathe that movie. I hate it. So, me saying I'm actually looking forward to this is saying something. Because I'll watch anything Adam Wingard does. Uh, I really enjoyed your next. I love the guest. So, I... I know this guy knows how to direct horror. So, yeah. I'm trying to figure out what I'm seeing over there. I think it's The Shine. Okay. Sorry. I'm not even going to edit anything out because I'm too bored to. But yeah, you're seeing, I'm seeing, you're seeing clips anyway. So, yeah. So, and, and the last trailer I'm going to talk about in this pack of trailers is Doctor Strange, trailer number two. I'm excited for Doctor Strange. I actually really am excited for him. Uh, I don't know too much about the character in general, but I'm very intrigued with this movie. Um, I don't know. It looks really cool. It looks like kind of like Marvel's typical formula, but it looks good. It has humor. I love the joke about the Wi-Fi password. That was great. Um, I love the whole magic, everything. Like, It looks visually stunning. Benedict Cumberbatch looks great as Doctor Strange, and I'm so excited to see him in that role. I'm really pumped for this movie. The action looks incredible from what I'm gathering, I guess, is the word I should use for lack of a better term. So, yeah, I'm actually really excited for the Doctor Strange movie. Um, It comes out in November. I'm pumped for this one. I think that... Oh, well, Blair Witch comes out in September, so... That and Doctor Strange, I think, are the... Yeah, those are the only two uh, movies uh, that had trailers that just came out at Comic-Con that I'm reviewing now, at least that are coming out this year. There are some that I'm not reviewing, like Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the King Arthur trailer. I saw all of that. Didn't really feel like I needed to review those. These are just the ones that stuck out to me the most. So, yeah, I'm actually excited for really all of these movies. So, that, that's my review for the Comic-Con trailers from yesterday, I guess I'll just say. But yeah, so, peace.